The idea of American greatness, of our country as the leader of the free and unfree world, has vanished. I've decided to do something about it. I couldn't stand to see what was happening to our great country. This mess calls for leadership in the worst way. It needs someone with common sense and business acumen. Someone who can truly lead America back to what has made us great in the past. We need someone with a proven track record in business who understands greatness. Someone who can rally us to the standard of excellence we once epitomized. I started with the issue of illegal immigration and proposed building a major wall that would be very high and completely impervious to the flood of immigrants who we don't want or need here illegally. Suddenly, Americans started to wake up to what was going on with regard to illegal immigration. Despite the large number of candidates who were running for the Republican nomination, what I was saying started to really hit home with people. I started drawing very large crowds so that we had to move our rallies into football stadiums and convention centers. The first national debate drew 24 million viewers, which set a record for cable television. All of a sudden, people who had never cared about the election or never voted before were rushing to our rallies. The rallies became massive. The crowds were unbelievable. The enthusiasm was based on pure love and love of what we were doing. The media, the politicians, and the so-called leaders of our country reacted in horror. But I persevered and went directly to the people because I don't need anyone's financial support, nor do I need anyone's approval as to what to say. I just had to do the right thing. I had to do it. I had no choice. I see what's happening to our country. It's going to hell. I had to do it. I've committed to a truly more powerful military, one prepared and equipped to stand up to any and all of our foes. When we draw a line in the sand, it needs to mean something to all, especially our enemies. I've released a tax plan that gives the middle class and those with lower incomes a chance to keep more of what they earn, while restructuring how the richest Americans will be paying taxes. I've introduced a whole new approach to job creation by encouraging companies to bring more of their jobs and manufacturing back to the United States, home where it belongs along with the trillions of dollars currently being held in foreign banks overseas. What we need is leadership that can deal with our mess and begin to apply practical solutions to our problems. There's so much untapped greatness in our country. Together, let's make America great again.